ominous rocks, killer robots, people in mortal danger. <laughs> Seriously, aren't you tired of this? Fatigue is a distraction from our purpose. As are complaints. Oh, I haven't begun to complain yet. Ouch! Ugh. Now I'm complaining. Focus, Sagira. Reach for the sky, big guy. Need help? Again? I've got it, thank you. Well? Osiris? What, what did you see? Slow down! Wait... I thought I... Oh, sh... Go! To your left! Two o'clock! Medium range! You're welcome! You know, I can't help but notice that even with all of reality to explore, you keep picking the places where they shoot at us. We can't stay here. If the Vex succeed, it's the end of everything. Sagira, we can see your light. You have to go. Nope, not leaving you. Without me, there's no coming back. If I don't stop the Vex, there won't be anything to come back to. I'm doing this for the both of us. Don't you even... Huh? Oh, sorry! Hello everybody, and welcome to another Destiny 2 lore video. Uh, I, I think I should stop doing this intro, it's getting really redundant, and we still have a while to go. Um, but anyway, today we're going to be talking about Curse of Osiris. Uh, this DLC wasn't liked when it for when well, it still isn't liked to this date, and that would be from lack of content that was released with the game. And also partially because the, the story is really confusing for a lot of people that don't follow the lore. Uh, so, I'm, I tried to explain this DLC as easily as I could. So, I really hope this helps you. Uh... Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and let's get into it. Ikora Ray would call us to her part of the tower and inform us that one of her hidden had brought her Sagira, Osiris's ghost. Ikora's hidden are a band of undercover guardians that report to Ikora. Ikora would tell us the followers of Osiris were sending reports of anomalies on Mercury and that Vexit's activity had surged on Mercury. We would go and investigate this and meet Brother Vance. Brother Vance is one of the followers of Osiris. The followers of Osiris are basically a cult, worshipping Osiris like a god. Osiris is only annoyed by them. When we landed, we would discover that the Vex from different timelines were converging on Mercury. We also could not enter the Infinite Forest. The Infinite Forest is a giant Vex supercomputer, and the Vex try to find ones in which they are the only beings left in the universe. Osiris was obsessed with it, and years ago he was exiled from the city for his teachings and knowledge of the Vex and dark futures to come. He had been traversing the Infinite Forest for longer than, when, than we had been resurrected as a guardian. We couldn't enter the Infinite Forest without the help from Sagira. Brother Vance would tell us that there were other followers on Earth, and that they could help us survive Sagira. So we would go to the EDZ and fight through Fallen. We would reach an old radio tower where the followers were hidden, and find out that the Fallen had found and killed all the followers. 
We would find a, f a highly modified piece of Vex tech in the hideout. We would revive Sagira, but not in the way we thought we would. Sagira would take over our own ghost. For the time being. We would fly back to Mercury and enter the infinite forest. Sagira would tell us that Osiris had seen something in the forest that terrified him, and nothing scares him. We would traverse the infinite forest and meet the reflections of Osiris. The reflections are copies of Osiris made with his light. They are used to fight and also to traverse multiple timelines of the forest. His reflections would tell us of the infinite forest origins and the first time the Vex arrived on Mercury. They would also tell us about Panoptes. Panoptes is a Vex mind that has only one objective, reshape reality only for the Vex. Finally, they would lead us to what Osiris had saw, the future where the Vex succeeds, where both light and darkness is gone, including all life. We would be driven out of the forest by Panoptes and tell Ikora about what the Vex had done and planned to do. Ikora would tell us that we needed to find the map of the infinite forest to find Panoptes and stop him. We would have to go to the Pyramidion on Io to find this map. While traversing the Pyramidion, Ikora and Sagira would talk about their past and the way they left things off. We would learn that Ikora had been a student under Osiris and had led the movement that exiled him. Sagira admitted that people weren't ready for what Osiris taught at the time. Still, the coldness between Ikora and Sagira still stood. We would find that the map of the Infinite Forest was not stored in the Pyramidion, but in a node in the Infinite Forest. So we would fly back to Mercury and fight Cabal that had survived on the Almighty. We would enter the Infinite Forest and fight our way into the node. The Cabal were also in the Infinite Forest. After killing the Cabal Commander, we would approach the map and discover that we would need more processing power in order to decrypt the map. So we would travel to Nessus to find some Vex mines that would do the trick. We would find the Vex mines and take their processors to Conflexes nearby, but when we used the processors, they shorted out. We were out of options. But Ikora thought of a plan. We would go to past Mercury, find Panoptes' origin, and run time forward to where he was in the present. We would travel to past Mercury and find out that Panoptes always ended up in the same place in the forest. Suddenly, a defensive subroutine would activate, and Panoptes would capture Sagira and shove us out of the forest. We would travel back to the tower and have Ikora help us with opening the infinite forest's gate. She would use her light to open the forest, and we would go back into the forest to end Panoptes and find Osiris. Oh, uh, by the way, our ghost is back, just to let you know. Uh, yeah, I don't exactly know how to explain that. But, uh, yeah. We would find Panoptes and fight him with the help of Osiris. Panoptes would try to erase us from the forest, but with the help of Osiris, he would stop that and open a clear shot of Panoptes' eye. We would crush Panoptes, and Osiris would regain Sagira. Ikora would be waiting for us and Osiris out outside the forest. Her and Osiris would make amends, and he would tell us that he had predicted lots of things, but he never predicted us. We have beaten the Vex this time, but there are many more timelines to explore. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is a longer one. But, uh, Curse of Osiris is a long DLC. Um, but, yeah, I hope this helped you understand a bit more about the great lore and story of Destiny and the Curse of Osiris campaign in general. So, if you enjoyed watching this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below, share if you really feel... Yeah, about the, I don't, I don't know, but yeah, I bet, the, okay, exactly. Thank you for watching. <laughs> oh, God.